Yeah, I think Friday was a great opportunity for our, our athletes. Uh, we got to play in front of over a thousand uh, middle school kids here on field trip day, and it was such an awesome environment. Um, you know, kind of stinks we had a missed opportunity um, there to finish off the game, and uh, you know, something that our girls have known uh, that we've struggled on a little bit is being disciplined, and in that match, it really showed. Um, what our expectation needed to be, what, what we should have taken care of, and we just couldn't capitalize on it. So a little disappointing in our, our Friday night, our Friday afternoon performance, but it was really nice to see them bounce back on senior day for Kristen's last uh, uh, home match um, going in uh, uh, for the weekend. So it was great to see them come in discipline, um, come in with a sense of urgency. Um, everything that we've talked about for the last two weeks, they really executed. And um, the mental aspect is huge for this team, and uh, they came out and did it. So I'm very proud of the way they finished. Um, but again, uh, we needed to win both to give us an opportunity to go into the A-10 tournament, and we're out. And um, as much as that stinks and as much as our goal was not met, we've had huge improvements throughout the year, and I think that's the thing we need to continue to focus on going into this weekend and going into spring ball. Um, we got one more home match, um, and although it's not Kristen's last match, uh, for senior day is, is our last match here at home, and um, we want to see the team execute at a high level, finishing off strong. So we're really excited for this weekend. Oh, it was super fun. Um, I think the team played together so well, and it was so fun like having like cheering squad. A lot of people's families came in, and it was just a great atmosphere. I had a lot of fun. Um, I would say one of my favorite memories over the four years happened last year when we played Georgetown. Um, we rallied uh, with them to a set of five games and we ended up winning and it's something that will always stick with me. Yeah, Rhode Island sitting pretty comfortably in that uh, number two seed, and um, you know they have a lot of good things for them. They uh, are fast tempo. They are um, very aggressive team. Uh, they do really uh, good as a whole of executing at a high level. So you know we need to come out and play our game. Um, we're not going to worry about them. We're going to worry about us, our tempo, our block touches. You know, our uh, uh, serving tough and our be us being defensive minded. That's really important going into this last weekend. So I'm excited to finish our slate at home um, and uh, getting ready for the rest of this year and also getting ready for next year. Um, we lose one senior and we return everybody, so finishing on a high note is really crucial for us. So I'm excited to see what they're going to come do. Uh, energy has been great and uh, we're going to continue to uh, take that into this weekend. So uh, good things to come from this Ford and Volleyball team.